In this video, we're talking about deployment options for Studio Suite 12. For the demo version, we wanted to make it as easy as possible with nothing to download or install so you can get up and running in just a few seconds. And we also wanted to show off the new web interface of Studio Suite. So we took a copy of Studio Suite 12, which is now a single file, and we put it up on the cloud on Amazon Web Services. Then whenever someone signs up for a demo, we make a copy of that file and we give it a unique name. And we do this for everyone that requests the demo. Then we email you a link to your unique file. Clicking on the link will launch your copy of Studio Suite in Safari, Chrome, or Explorer, as the case may be, and we call this Studio Suite Direct. Of course, as always, you can use FileMaker Pro version 16 to access your file, and we call that Studio Suite Desktop. Also part of the package is Studio Suite Lite, formerly called Web Glancer, which is a lightweight, responsive web application for staffers and crew to be able to log their time and other details into Studio Suite from phones, tablets, and of course, laptops and desktops. Now, if your organization already has FileMaker Server 16 installed on your premises, you can request to download a copy of the Studio Suite 12 file to install on your local in-house server. And that, of course, would provide all the same access points you would have as hosted from Amazon Web Services, but you're hosting it yourself. In these cases, we can also provide links to trial versions of FileMaker Server and FileMaker Pro. Two important points to mention. In order to make some dramatic improvements to our web interface, we had to make some hard choices to eliminate what used to be called Studio Suite Pro, the single user version of Studio Suite. So going forward, starting with Studio Suite 12, a server is required because that's simply how the web works. Second, we're currently providing AWS web hosting for the trial version only, primarily to make it quick and easy and to show off the web access. To expand on that, when you purchase Studio Suite, you can set up your own server on AWS or Azure or any other hosting provider. Many people have asked us about FileMaker Cloud. It's still early days for that product. It still doesn't have some key components that are needed for Studio Suite 12. It'll get there soon, but FileMaker is just not ready at this stage. Now, we may provide bundled hosting services as part of the purchase down the line, but we're just not geared up to do that right now. But again, you can of course set up your own physical or virtual server at your location, as our customers have always done, which again will provide all the same access points shown on this slide. A couple quick disclosures. Studio Suite 12 Direct, which again means it's accessed through a browser, is missing some features that are only available when accessing from FileMaker Pro. They are drag and drop of files into the Studio Suite Attach tab in each module. You can still select the files from a chooser, you just can't drag and drop them into the window. Similarly, the disk log feature in the library module of Studio Suite 12 requires full access to your hard drive, something that a browser just doesn't have. Connection to the desktop version of QuickBooks for PC is also not possible through a browser, but connection and exports to QuickBooks Online is available in Student Suite Direct. And in the calendar, shift-clicking on an event to view its project is not available. However, single-clicking to view an event is still available. On another note, previously printing was not an option with FileMaker's WebDirect technology, and now we are able to print to PDF from the browser, and of course you can print those PDFs as needed. Okay, moving on to requirements. System requirements seem to evolve rapidly, so the latest version is always available from a number of places, on our site, from a link in the email sent after you signed up for the demo, and also from our sales team. Well, that's about it for this quick video. Please let us know if you have any other further questions.